And welcome to a brand new Lego build. I haven't done the Lego for a little while. These are Lego Ideas uh, 21320. Uh, I don't even know what it's I guess they're just called Dino Fossils, but I don't actually say what they are. It's kind of funny. So you've got a. What is it called? We've got T Rex, obviously, Tyrus Rex, Triceratops, and a. I think it's called a pterodon, I think that's how you say it, not pterodon. You got Lego sapiens. <laughs> so you got a little Lego men I figured. And then another guy, like a archaeologist, I guess him. I thought when I first saw this set you'll literally just build one, take it apart, build another one, especially a T-Rex, and then take it apart, do the other one. But you have all three models built in this set, which is cool. You got obviously the two characters as well, two characters anyway. So uh, what, what it is is split into three books. You got the Pterodon, which is only bag one, I think. Yeah, bag one is a Pterodon. Then you got the Triceratops, which is bags two and three, with the little mini little mini figure uh, skeleton. And then finally, you have the T Rex, which is bag four, five, and six. I will do these in order. Uh, I'm not sure if I'll do them all in one video or separate. I might do them separate. So we've got Pterodon in one, Triceratops in another. Yeah, I'll do that. Triceratops in one, Pterodon in another, and the T-Rex in that one. So be three videos. Be a little bit easier. I think it'll be pretty cool. So, of course, let's open the box. I've, I'm, I've opened it already, obviously, because the... Uh, uh, what's it called? Manuals. Yeah, obviously, a few bags. Mainly they're going to be obviously white because they're bone parts. So, we've got bags one, two, three, four, five, six. We've got six bags, so nice and easy. So, I'm going to um, do the usual sped up video with this, and I'll show you the pterodact. Uh, the Pterodon after and I hope you enjoy. Let me know what you think in the comments. See you Bye. Little pterodon done. It's pretty cool. You can see why it was the first one to build because it was a pretty simple build to do. It's a nice, nice uh, technique to get him more um, flexible and movable so you can have him flying with his wings up or down, his back legs so he can land in if you want. And of course, you can take him off the uh, stand and make, I don't know if you can make him stand up, let's see. You can make him stand up. Probably a bit fun heavy for that, but let's have a look. I can't make it actually make him stand up. That's a shame, really. That'd be quite cool if you could. But yeah, he's a cool little thing. I like his little ribs down here. His whole head moves really well. There's loads of uh, articulation on this model. His mouth's nice. <laughs> the pterodons are different to like um, uh, the. I can't remember what they're called now. Ones everyone knows of, except for me, obviously. Pterodactyls, that's it. Other than pterodactyls, pterodactyls don't have this big crest. That's what the crest is here. And these are probably much bigger. That's probably why they're called pterodons. That's cool. Um, let me know what you think in comments. I'll be doing probably uh, the Triceratops tomorrow. So I hope you enjoy, let me know if you comments and see you next one, see you soon, bye. Completely forgot as well. <laughs> Sorry uh, Mr. Archaeologist, I forgot about him. He's only got one face, I was kind of surprised. He got like a nice little paint on it. I'm surprised though, the magnifying glass actually is a magnifying glass. I'm actually surprised by that.
That's kind of cool. See him staring at the uh, pterodactyl. Shit. Got a bone that he's probably taken from the pterodactyl. I keep saying pterodactyl, sorry, pterodon. So you say pterodactyl now. <laughs> Freak caught it out a hundred more times. And also, he's got his box of uh, kit and a book with just a picture of a bone on it. <laughs> I don't know what that's supposed to say, mean, but. You know, loads of tools in there, and a cup as well. We can't forget his drink for his tea. If, especially if he's English archaeologist, he's got to have his tea. If he's American, it's probably uh, uh, coffee. <laughs> I hope you enjoy. So I'll see you soon. Thanks, bye. Please remember to hit the like button and the subscribe. See you soon in the next video. See you soon. Bye.